everyone today our topic for discussion is 73rd constitutional amendment act of 1993 so my dear students as we know that the panchayat raj system in india is known as local self government or democracy at grassroots level so democracy at grassroots level is known as panchayat raj system clear as we know that article 40 of indian constitution it directs the states to organize village panchayats as units of local self government local self government and so far the 73rd constitutional amendment act is concerned we see that constitutional amendment act 73rd constitutional amendment act gave constitutional states to panchayats clear earlier we see that there was no in original constitution there was no mention about the panchayat raj system there was no mention about panchayat raj system and this panchayat raj system it was not a constitutional body it was not a constitutional body clear so article this uh, constitution 73rd constitutional amendment act it gave the constitutional states it gave panchayat raj institutions constitutional states clear now as we know that in 1991 1991 prime minister of india prime minister of india narsimha rao pv narsimha rao P. Narasimha Rao, he introduced a bill in Lok Sabha. He introduced a bill in Lok Sabha. He introduced seventy-third, seventy-third constitutional amendment bill. He introduced seventy-third constitutional amendment bill in Lok Sabha in Parliament in Lok Sabha. Clear? And this bill was passed in Lok Sabha in nineteen ninety-one. And Rajya Sabha, it was passed in Rajya Sabha in, in the, on December. 1992 clear so the 73rd constitutional amendment bill by introduced in indian parliament by who prime minister of india pv narsimha rao for what purpose to give confer to strengthen the panchayat raj institutions in india to so, strengthen the panchayat raj institutions in india theek hai na so uske baad hum dekhte hain that when this bill was passed in both houses of the parliament finally it received the president's assent it received president assent in 1993 90 93 we see that the, at that time the president of india was shankar dayal sharma shankar shankar dayal sharma was president of india at that time so this 73rd constitutional amendment bill received president assent clear and became 73rd constitutional amendment act clear so this act was enforced on 24th april 1993 That's why every year, every year we celebrate 24 April as National Panchayat Day. National, so National Panchayat Day is celebrated by National Panchayat Day. Is celebrated by, clear? Celebrated by the people of India. Why? Because on 24th April 1993, ठीक है ना? 73rd Constitution Amendment Act came into force. Clear? So this. Uh, 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act it gave constitutional states, constitutional states, constitutional powers. It provided constitutional powers to Panchayat Raj institutions. So, and so far, this local self-government is concerned. We see that the Lord Ripon, Lord Ripon, a British Viceroy, Lord Ripon, Lord Ripon, British Viceroy in 1882. Lord Ripon is the father of local self-government in India. Father of Local self government in India. Father of local self government in India is Lord Ripon. In 1882, in 1880, he was a viceroy of India. He was a British viceroy in India, and he formulated the local self government. He first he formulated local self government. Local self government. That's why he is known as father of local self government in India, Lord Ripon. Lord. Ripon, ठीक है ना? As we know, so far this 73rd Constitution Amendment Act is concerned. We see that this act, this added a new part to the Constitution of India. Added a new part to the Constitution of India. That's the part ninth, part ninth. So this act added a new part to the Constitution of India. Part ninth was added. A new part. The act, 73rd Constitution Amendment Act, added. Act added. Part nine, part nine to the Constitution, to the Constitution of India, to the Constitution of India, to the Constitution of India. Act added part nine to the Constitution of India. ठीक है ना? 
and we see they also added a new eleventh schedule, new schedule, eleventh new new eleventh schedule. It also added new schedule. That is eleventh schedule. The other one, eleventh schedule. It was added into the constitution. Eleventh schedule was added to the constitution of India. To the constitution of India, as we know that total number of schedules in Indian constitution twelve schedules. Is it right? Twelve schedules and twenty-five parts. Twenty-five. Parts in the constitution, total parts, how many? Twenty-five and twelve schedules. Okay, right? So eleven schedules was added. It was added because of seventy-third constitution amendment act. Seventy-third constitution amendment act. As we know that the articles related to, and we see that it added a new articles. Added a new articles. It added new article because from twenty two hundred forty-three eight to two hundred forty-three O. So these articles is related to Panchayat Raj system in India. It's related to Panchayat Raj institutions. It is related to Panchayat Raj institutions. Take care now. So articles, as we know that the eleventh schedule, it contains twenty nine. It contains twenty nine subjects. It contains twenty nine subjects. Twenty nine subjects. Take care now. When, as we know that the act, the third seventy third Constitution Amendment Act, gave a practical shape. It gave practical shape. To Article Forty of Indian Constitution, to Article Forty of Indian Constitution, ठीक है ना? Article Forty mentions that it directs the state to organize village panchayats as units of self-government. Self-government, as we know that the Act gave constitutional states to panchayat raj institutions, to panchayat raj institutions in India. It was, it has brought them under the preview of just a feasible part of the constitution, or just a part of the constitution. Now the silent features. So far, the silent features of Seventy-third Constitution Amendment Act is concerned. We see that this Act provided Gram Sabha. It pro provided Gram Sabha. The Act provided for a Gram Sabha. For a Gram Sabha as the foundation of Panchayat Raj, as the foundation of Panchayat Raj. This means that all the persons, all the persons registered in the electoral rolls of a village into the Gram Sabha, into the Gram Sabha, and we see that. Second feature of the sorry, second important feature of seventy third Constitution Amendment Act, it act act it provides third three tier system, three tier structure, three tier system, three tier three tier system. The act provides for three tier system of Panchayat Raj in every state, in every state that is Panchayats in the village level, intermediate and intermediate block level and district level and. district level now election of members and chairperson so all the members as we know that all the members of panchayats at the village intermediate and district level they shall be elected directly by the people in a direct log elect karte hai theek hai na so the reservation of the seats so far the reservation of the seats is concerned as an important feature reservation of seats so far the reservation of seats is called the act provides the act provides The reservation of seats for scheduled castes, scheduled tribes in every panchayat, in every panchayat. That is all the three, all the three levels in in proportion of their of their population to the total population in the area, total population in the panchayat area, panchayat area. ठीक है ना? Now the act also provides thirty three percent reservation for women, one third of reservation, thirty three percent or one third of reservation for women. For women, so reserve women reservation. One thirty-three percent reservation for women. ठीक है ना? Thirty-three percent reservation for women. ठीक है ना? It act provides thirty-three percent reservation in every panchayat for women. For women, clear? And we see that at one third of the total number of seats for women. But sorry, and they were including the seats reserved for. Women belong to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. Belong to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. ठीक है ना? So far the duration of the panchayat is concerned. We see that the act provided seventy third constitution amendment act provided five. It provided five year term duration. Five year term for panchayat. Five year term for panchayat. ठीक है ना? Five year term for panchayat. Five year term of office. Of the panchayats, office of the panchayats at every level, at every level. However, it can be, it can be dissolved. It's called dissolve. Kiya ja ja sakta hai before the before the completion of its term, before the completion of its term. Now the qualification. So far, the qualification for members of panchayat 
panchayat is concerned we see that the, the, the act provided the act provided that any person qualified to be a member of state election legislature legislature can be a member of panchayat can be a member of panchayat. however powers however persons having attended yadarna persons having attended 21 years age so every citizen of india who attends the age of 25 he can contest elections in the panchayats yadarna every person every citizen of india every citizen of india both male and female who attends the age of 21 theek hai na he can contest elections in the panchayats in the panchayats clear so however persons having attended 21 years will be eligible for panchayat election panchayat election as we know that the governor of the state shall after every 5 years he constitutes state finance commission finance state finance commission kon constitute karta hai governor of the state governor of the state to review the financial position of the panchayat is to review the financial position of the panchayat is clear na so the determination of taxes determine taxes duties theek hai na tolls and fees may be assigned to the panchayats may be assigned to the panchayats as we know that grant in aid to panchayats grant is grant in aid grant aid is given to panchayats to panchayats from consolidated fund of the state from the consolidated of the fund of state so 73rd constitutional amendment act it gave a practical idea practical shape practical shape to gandhi principle article 40 of indian constitution article 40 of indian constitution so this was all about 73rd constitutional amendment act so next video we will discuss karenge 74 74th constitutional amendment act ke bare mein so dear students video ko dekhne ke sath sath channel ko subscribe karna na bhule